Okay, the lady did come in after she realized we weren't some conspiracy theorist and the mice do get in your vehicle and chew your wires up. And uh, she went ahead and let me put a new pigtail on it and uh, put new low beams in it. I do have to make a correction um, because I gave you the wrong pigtail connector in the last video and I will update that in the comment section of that video. This is this is this sensor on the intake is called an IAT2 sensor. That's your intake air temperature sensor number two. I looked up IAT1 and that's integrated to the mass airflow and that's not what this one is. So I just wanted to make that clear uh, before we move forward and I'll, while this is loading I'll give you the correct connector for that. And that sets code P0113 for intake air temp sensor open. This is the proper connector for it. If you notice the little tab on the side, side and in the middle, I got ahead of myself. Uh, 3U2Z14S411JZA. That's the actual part number for the IAT2 sensor. And that is this one right here. The reason mine looks a little bit different is because I actually found a connector back in our parts bin that was brand new in the bag that's the same style. The one that you're going to get is probably going to be a black connector. Um, yeah, the one that I ordered was not the correct one, so I had to fix that quick, fast, in a hurry. And luckily I had a brand new one in a bag that was part of our parts inventory that anybody can take. So remember the left low beam code B1D00 and then the right low beam code B1D01 and then you have your intake air temp sensor one circuit high bank one that's actually the IAT2 the one I just showed you so we'll go ahead and clear those out and run the vehicle see if they come back or actually we'll do a key on engine running test and see what happens Okay, code's cleared, so now we're going to do a self-test, modules, go down, do a Keon engine off self-test first, see what happens. You're going to more than likely see that P0113 under do not diagnose because it's previously been cleared. What are you looking for? Sorry, somebody came over here looking at my tools like they wanted to borrow something and it was a sales line. I said, oh, hell no, you ain't touching my shit without me knowing first. There's no way. I've had too many people, their hands in my stuff lately. Anyway, I apologize for that. Um, see what I said about do not diagnose? It's, it was permanent one, at one time, but it cleared. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle. Well, yeah, we'll start the vehicle and then do a Keon engine run test. No check engine light. Now we'll run a Keon engine run test and see what we get to come back. Self test, Keon engine run, self demand. It's gonna tell me it wants to see a brake input. It's gonna to wanna to see the overdrive on and off if it's got it. There's a oil tank. That's the yeah, see now it's telling me it wants to see me move the steering wheel, hit the brake, see if it's got a, it doesn't have that. It just wants to see things move out and operate. And it'll probably set a door, a door code because I got the door open. It's running its tests still right now. Cycle the transmission switch, control, overdrive, on off, on off, tow haul, on off, on off. You got a clutch, press and release the clutch pedal if equipped. But it, on this one, you just move the steering wheel, hit the brake, and that's all you gotta do. It's got the RPMs up right now. running its self-test 
Uh, so AC demand out of test range and uh, co engine coolant temp sense out of test range because it's not hot enough. That's fine. That those those are not important. Uh, shut the key off, clear the codes, and you're done. That's just because it's still kind of cold. And this one is because the AC was on or I didn't cycle it. Doesn't matter. Nothing wrong with the vehicle. No check engine light on, so we shut it off. Turn it back on, clear the codes, and let it roll. Clear codes real quick. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, that's to redo the self-test. Nope, I don't want that. Right, exit that. Go back to my self-test, the DTCs. Clear them, and then let the customer have their car back. Well, I'll go on a test drive, and then I'll let them have it back. So I apologize for the wiring uh, intake air temp sensor two connection. It's kind of confusing sometimes on the wiring diagrams when they have multiple things that that just have one number off, and you could be wrong. And clearly, I was wrong because the one that I picked was a mass intake air temp sensor connector together, and it was also a connector for another thing on the vehicle as well. I don't know if it's like a wheel speed sensor or something. It said it also it could be a connector for. But this connector in this video is the one that you needed for that fix. Anyway, be blessed, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up. Love the support. Love the community. Uh, thanks for bringing more people in. You guys have been doing freaking amazing lately, bringing more people here and spreading the word about just good, honest repairs from good techs that are in the field that have information. And I love being able to talk and brainstorm with you guys and just uh, figure things out, you know. That's what this is all about. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Be blessed. A little tongue-tied today.